Snestruck. Every once in a while, I have to bite the bullet and do a video on a really bad game, or in this case, a really bad port. So allow me to walk you through what it's like to play a pit fighter for Super Nintendo. You turn it on, you select from a whopping three fighters, and then... Uh... Wait, let me let me try it. Wait, I, I can't even... I, I, ah! Ah! How do you... Can you even... Seriously, these guys move like they're being electrocuted. I, you can't get... Uh, what? What? What the? Come! Uh, ah! Uh, and it, it's, how do you how do you do anything? What what am I doing? And that's it. That's the entire game right there. There's no game modes. There's no extras. There's not even any music on the title screen. Right from the get go, you see that you have less life than your opponent. Okay, what's the purpose of that? And even if you somehow manage to win the first fight and you win some cash and celebrate on a forklift, all right. Your health doesn't replenish on the next fight, so you die and it's game over. So let me recap so far. Three fighters, no moves, stilted controls, bad hit detection, terrible graphics, lazy ass two frame animation, a soundtrack consisting of one song, and no other game modes at all. Actually, that's not totally true. There is another game mode, multiplayer. So you can join another person in fumbling around with whatever the hell is supposed to be happening here. And I did eventually figure something else out. The three fighters function as the difficulty setting. So the first guy is easy, the second guy is medium, medium, and the third guy is hard. And if you try to beat this game on hard, you need to get your head examined. And have I mentioned how sick I am of this same stupid song? Usually when I make a video, I like to snag five or six tracks from the game's soundtrack and play it in the background as I'm blathering on, but here there's just that one song. And you know what? Yeah, that's better. Even Nintendo Power, whose primary job is to butter up Nintendo games, crapped all over this game when it came out, calling it the worst game Nintendo had ever released up to that point, and it earned the number 5 spot on its top 10 worst games ever made list in its 100th anniversary issue. And the Super NES Player's Guide has several read between the lines quotes here. Realistic graphics together with difficult play action make this a tough game to beat? Sure, okay. I should clarify that I'm crapping all over Pit Fighter the Super Nintendo port. The original Pit Fighter arcade game is still, uh, not as as bad, but it was definitely worth playing back in the day. Yeah, it's pretty simple, but it was one of the very first games to feature digitized sprites featuring real actors. It was a pretty big technical achievement, and the game itself is adequate, I guess. It's still goofy fun for 10 minutes or so until you get sick of it. The Super Nintendo port, though, I mean, this is what they considered a passable port back in 1991? What a disaster. Pit Fighter also got ports on the Sega Master System, Genesis, Game Boy, Atari Lynx, and no, I'm not playing any of those. Are you crazy? So yeah, Pit Fighter is a game that will make you appreciate literally every other game you've played that much more. That's how bad Pit Fighter is. Seriously, play Shaq Fu, which actually isn't as bad of a game as its reputation would tell you, and then play Pit Fighter. 30 seconds of gameplay won't go by before you're scrambling back to your Super Nintendo to rip this thing out of there like a leech off your leg, and you're pining for Shaq Fu to wash the pain away. Pit Fighter the arcade game is fine, but stay far away from the Super Nintendo port. <laughs> Huh. <laughs>